Welcome everybody to 48 Talk, episode 107. I am your host, Rage Bolly, as always. Joining me this time is Colin Johnson on the right. Steve is back on the bottom right. And joining us for the first time, it's Matt. What's Hi. up, everybody? Hi. This Hello. is entirely a different crew I uh, I normally go with, but hey, let's uh, just roll with it. Well, hey. hey, it's always fine. We're a very big community. Yeah. community. So, uh, yeah, Matt, so you're first on the show. Um, as always, yes. if you're first on the show, we always ask how you get into AKB48 and who is your Oshi? All right, yeah. Um, so I got into AKB48 back in college. There were some like Japanese exchange students that I was hanging out with. And at the time, I was like, hey, I'm really into some J-pop. Do you recommend any artists? And so this was like uh, 2010 or so. Ooh. So like, they sent me like video of like, Ponytail Shushu, Heavy Rotation. And uh, at first, I'm like, these videos are really weird. Because it's like yeah, girls yeah. in swimsuits, <laughs> scantily clad. I'm like, huh. But the music's really catchy. So I'm like, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, that's how I got into AKB. And I just followed him, been with him since then, essentially. Mm -hmm. Uh and then my Oshi, at least for like the next like three months or so, I guess, <laughs> is uh, Sayane Yamoto Sayaka. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and so I guess, uh, yeah. That's that's maybe a good thing to get in there. Um, but, but <laughs> so you started in 2010, basically. So the the high yeah. points, you know, where you had hit after hit after hit, as uh, Derek and I mentioned on next uh, last week. Mm. So. Have you noticed a sudden change? Do you feel like they've lost their touch a little bit? Yeah, definitely. They've I, I so I buy a bunch of CDs, but I don't even open them to rip them anymore. That's because they're so bad. Wow. So I buy all the CDs to go to handshake events. Oh. So I'm in Japan. That's mm -hmm. uh, I guess another point is mentioned. I'm in Japan, so I live here, and I go to handshake events and concerts, you know, fairly regularly. So yeah, you, uh, you just I guess my... went uh, to a handshake event, right? Yes, just uh, yesterday, uh, and it was actually like, oh. some of my last. I like f I have four more handshake. I had four more handshake tickets for Sayaka. I had three of them yesterday, and I have one more in a couple weeks. So I got really, I got a bit emotional. Yeah, uh, understand <laughs> understandable. I would say I think a yeah. lot of people uh, were going like that. Ever since the announcement, people are like, "Oh, the end is coming now. The the announcement it's... is here, and we need to prepare." And yeah, go it's been like and... a very like somber feeling everywhere. It feels like like tensions down, you know, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you also do your own show. Uh, you have, uh, of course, NMB48 Takoyaki Party. Yes, and that's kind of like a... It's not like a re regular show. It's a, we do it like once a month, and it's like the fourth Monday of every month. Just we do it once a month because, you know, not a whole lot of news, not a whole lot of events, so we just kind of go... Just chilling yeah, around, uh, of course, with Andy. Uh, being yeah, there. he doesn't do that much because he's busy, and also he doesn't like doing podcasts sometimes. Um, but we'll do like special shows, like if there's like a concert or some you know big graduation announcement. Yeah, we'll do a show on that. Um, yeah, it's mostly focused on NMB news, and then we also do like a, a kind of event reports because a lot of us are actually in Japan, so we can actually talk about our interactions with the members. And then we also do a thing called like the, called the meta topic, where we just kind of talk about like some like, general topic, not maybe NMB focus, but it could also just be general idol fan fandom focus, and we just discuss and debate about certain things like that. So it's Pretty good show. I recommend checking it out. Very. So you moved to Japan um, first uh, in... for work, and then you got into AKB or NMB, or did it become other way around? Uh, other way around. So yeah, I was in college, so 2010. I moved to Japan and graduating from college, and basically I'm an English teacher, which is a lot, what a lot of people in my situation do. So that pays for all my handshake event tickets and stuff. <laughs> So yeah, and then yeah, I basically it's gotten my I've gotten more been able been able to do more events being in Japan. Mm. So you know. So how how's the the living situation there? Because how long have you been there now? Uh about six years now. Six years, and then Ooh, it's still wow. going great. You still have like this is uh, perfect. This is how I want to be. Yeah, like the joke I make is like when I stop caring about AKB, that's when I move back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I'm from the US originally. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. very good then. Which is, you know, recently these years it's been more, you know, closer going down. So we'll see uh, how I feel like in a few years, a year or two. We'll see. Everything can happen uh, like in an instance. Mm -hmm. uh, well, for say now, um, let's talk into it then. The big announcement. Uh, would you like to share your thoughts on uh, the feeling when 
Yamamoto Saika from NMB48 announced graduation. Yeah, so actually, I'm going to be honest. So uh, the day of her graduation, uh, I was working at, like, the summer camp thing for work. Mm-hmm. And so we were, like, doing hiking and all these, like, sports games and stuff. So I was, like, really t- like tired and, like, you know, I was passed out. And I saw the, the like, the news on Twitter. And, like, oh, Saika announced graduation. I was like, uh And then <laughs> I was like, uh, I, don't have, I don't have time to think about this. So I'm just going to sleep. <laughs> so I just kind of slept on it and then... Then it hit me later. Like, oh crap, he's graduating. Oh well, what's what does this mean for him to be? You know, it's kind of a weird timing, uh, mm-hmm. especially because like I feel like if she graduated maybe a, a year ago, we'd probably still be in pretty good hands. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, like uh, obviously you think, oh okay, so Miru is like you know the, obviously the next in line, but she's also doing the Produce Forty Eight stuff, mm-hmm. and if she gets selected for that, they're gonna be she's gonna be locked in there for like a year and a half, two years. So then, like, NMB kind of has, like, it's not, it doesn't have, like, a, you know, a defined leader or ace. Yeah. Well, well isn't the uh, feeling currently with uh, Shiro Amiru that she really doesn't like going to Korea? That she actually uh, can't believe she's still in it and that she's now being more... Yeah, I think, yeah, it's kind of the vibe, it seems like. Or she's, like, she's really focused on it, but, like, it kind of, it comes out, like, on camera that she's kind of spaced out and, like, kind of tired. But I think she's just... Language barrier, culture shock, you know, a whole lot of things going through her head. So it's kind of just. She's also a very shy person around you know, new people or people who don't understand, yeah. I would say. Yeah, and then when you do, like, break her shell, she is, like, very flirty and, like, kind of touchy feely and stuff. And a couple times I've gone and see her, like, she, like, patted my belly and she, she's pulled on my beard once. And it was... <laughs> <laughs> So it's, really, like, uh, <laughs> so it's more like when, when they get to know you, that she'll be more open to that side, but otherwise, you know, a little yeah, bit but reserved, like I, yeah. quiet. Yeah, because I don't go see her like all that regularly. I haven't really seen her since this year, really, but it's kind of, she's very, uh, you know, fishy. That's like the way the mm, term. Yeah. She fishes a lot for members. Uh, the way I describe her is she's kind of like budget Milky. Because Milky is <laughs> like that too. She was very flirty. Uh, you know, she fished the, the fans and stuff, so. Me just kind of doing that shtick. That's kind of like her shtick. It's just mm-hmm. kind of hey, if you uh, want to feel like. Yeah. So, so uh, back to uh, Sion, eh? So Colin and, mm-hmm. and Steve, what are your thoughts on on the mm-hmm. announcements? Mm-hmm. Oh, Steve, I'll go, go ahead. first. Yeah. Um. So when I heard it, I wasn't actually like really surprised. I saw it like on the Discord. I'm like Sion announced the graduation. I'm like, oh, because it's kind of like just like what you and Derek have said last week. It's like I kind of gotten used to graduation announcements. And plus, of how it's been, like, the past couple years with Sine, as she's been going more solo, it's kind of like, uh, like it's happening. Like, there's nothing really much I can really say about that. Like, I'm happy for her, obviously. I want her to go yeah. be successful in her solo career. But it just never really surprised me as much as it really should. Yeah. Colin? Yeah. Uh, I heard the news like 15 minutes after it got announced on Monday. Um, I I saw that the concert was live, but I was like, ah, I'll watch it later. And then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they announced it. I was like, ah, damn it. Um, but uh, not really much of a shock. Um, I also got used to it. I also saw it coming, uh, much like mm. Robin uh, has said before. I think I said it too, that I would see her graduate this year. Um... I, I I was slightly shocked still because I was not uh, thinking about that Sione would leave with how NMB performed in uh, SSK. Uh, they didn't mm. they didn't do good. Um, and with what Matt said about uh, Miru being Korea and like Produce Forty Eight, how that uh, turns out, where will NMB go from here? That was the main uh, thing I was thinking about. It was the first thing I was thinking about where it would go because we don't really have someone to replace her. I mean, Sayane, that's very difficult to uh, replace, but like uh, the, the face ace of NMB. Mm. Nagis, uh, no, no, not Nagis, uh, um, Akarin. She, oh, yeah, she, Akari. She, she really ranked high, really well, but for me, she doesn't really have that wow factor. And the only one that ranked very high was Ota Yuri, and she hasn't been up front either. So for me, it's like, where will NMB go? go from here what it's kind of like a slow push it's like i think yeah. what you said those two members uh like akarin she could be more of like a uh like a captain position you know yeah. more of a leader in charge of 
in MB. And then Ota Yuri, she obviously you guys haven't seen it yet, but definitely she has like that potential to become like mm-hmm, the next mm-hmm. like she's still young. She has the potential to become like the next ace and the next center of AKB. So that's the thing with like, sign or NMB. Uh, the thing with sign is she's kinda like both the ace and the leader combined into one. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna have these like two positions basically gone. So they'll split them and I can definitely see that happen. So I think NMB might be okay with without Sayaka and also without Miru. But it sounds like I guess with the rankings, Miru's kinda like on the like just barely may or may not cut mm-hmm. produce. So uh shoot we may still have her, in which case I guess we'll still be fine. But I can still just see that position. I can still see like you know Akarin being the leader. Being yeah. Captain. What, what do you guys think yeah. about uh, Murame Sai? Yeah, she's also pretty. Uh, uh, I said pretty. Yeah, she's also pretty, but um, uh, <laughs> she's uh, <laughs> nah, she she's getting there. Like, I think she's not at, up there at, like Akarin, but they have like the the quintet unit, you know, with yeah uh, yeah yeah Akarin, yeah. uh, Shibuya Nagisa, Ota Yuri. Well, uh, Sai and, uh, she's uh, currently Asai. being very prominent on Produce 48, yeah. like very heavily mm-hmm. in there. And she had the center yeah. role, and, and she got number yeah. one votes from the Korean crowd. Yeah. So that's just that was like, really... yeah, like last week or two weeks, yeah. Yeah, two weeks, two yeah, that good performance, actually. And now she's like this one of those prominent members being... Um... The, the funny thing is, in the latest episode, um, they had to do like a sort of... Because of half was eliminated, they had to rearrange mm-hmm. the group, so they had to kick mm-hmm. someone out. And basically, most of the Korean girls were kicking the. Well, if there were two, ja- <laughs> if there were two Japanese girls, then they would kick. Um, well, one of them would place at fifth, so at the edge of kicking out, and then the other one would be kicked out, because they would only uh-huh. have maximum five members. And mm-hmm. I think only Takashi Juri got managed to place fourth, but other than that, um, same oh. with Miru, Murasai, all on fifth place, and even uh, Sakura mm-hmm. got kicked out. Um, but she wanted to be kicked out. She's like, I don't think I can do this song well. So it was a little yeah. different side. But it was very fun to see that um, the Korean fans or the national producers, who they, how they call it in the show, they are yeah. very interested in like these certain members. And right now, the ones who are still in there are all like um, Senbatsu, so Senkyo uh, material, except for um, Murase Sai oh, and, and a few others uh, in there. Yeah. So just seeing her, I, I'm like, just give now the next NMB single after, of course, now Yamut Saika's graduation single. Mm-hmm. Maybe yeah, put her in a, a center role. <laughs> uh, on the B side? No, no, really, just give her a, a center role on A side, I would say. A side. I, th- <laughs> I guess, I, I mean, NMB is kind of experimental, but they also like to play it safe sometimes. And just, you know, that's true. Yeah. Well, th- that's uh, the thing with, with, with NMB. When, when it was my first concert ever, thanks to Andy, to go to uh, mm-hmm. Nagoya. And seeing that you know, they perform amazing, they have lots of characters. But I'm thinking, so why are they very you know, quiet? It, it's like they have their their own crowds, you know, the Osaka crowd style. And, and keeping it only prominent to that certain type of group. They don't want to expand anymore or they don't want to you know, uh, promote themselves anymore as much as like, say, an NGT or even ST, uh, STU48 or HKT like that. So it feels like they're still prominent and quiet to themselves. Would you agree? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, because they do a lot of like non-idly stuff. Like they're more like in the comedy scenes. Like they do yeah. like weekly, uh, every, bi-weekly uh, comedy shows at the Yes Namba Theater called You Got It Um and that's with more lesser-known members. Uh, yeah, they, it's and they don't have like you know your your AK bingos or whatever, but they do have TV shows. They have Inabi Tomana Nabakun. Uh, they have like their own like kind of like pay per view kind of service called Y N N N B channel where they do kind of like budget mm-hmm. style shows, really fun. So I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there. You just have to, have to look for it. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I mean. They don't promote too much. There's stuff out there, but there's not easy. Um, the accessibility was a little bit harder, I would say. For well, again, to international fans mostly, of course. But if you start with AKB and then you're like, oh, maybe I'll look something else. Then NMB is always a little bit late. Don't hear much saying, "Well, I got into AKB thanks to AK Bingo, and then watched the music, and then I learned about NGT or stuff like that." You don't yeah. go right away for NMB because there's like, "Oh, you need to watch this show that's from mm-hmm. NMB for that. That's amazing." Or you need to watch their theater performances or something like that. Yeah, actually, I got into NMB because of uh, the AKB 149 dating sim game because mm-hmm. I had all the members from all the groups, and so there was like this one song kept playing. It was Nagiichi, and like, "Oh, this is a really." Cute song, so I start like looked it up on YouTube, and then I saw the members. I'm like, oh man, 
there's a whole batch of people I'd never heard of, never seen before. And so I'm like, that's how I, that's how I fell into the NMB hole. Yeah. Well, yeah, so. well with NMB, uh, like a few moments in there, and of course, thanks to NMB uh, Genin, that there was like yes. uh, a big show that we in there with Goto, of course, being in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm still wishing for that to come back. And <laughs> the, the, the so that's what I was hoping with uh, the fifth gen members, because they had a lot of like the younger sibling members. You know, you had a uh, Yamada Nami, younger sister, you had Junichi Ray's, uh, Yojinshi K's younger sister. Mm -hmm. So I was like, no, they could reboot it like with this new, younger version of that. But I guess it wasn't meant to yeah. be. Hopefully. But yeah, I think, yeah, but yeah, just I'm gonna say, uh, yeah, look up NMB to Manabu kun. That's probably the one show you want to look because I do that every Friday. And it's like a, it's like a learning program. So where they have a guest present a topic and then the class is the NMB members and they like, they'll have to answer questions about the topic, but the questions are really stupid or really funny or something. So it's, uh, from, uh, from what I saw, yeah. it's a very relaxing show, basically. It's, it's, it, yeah, there's it's not a chill. lot of pressure Which, I mean, out there. It, NMB is pretty like the chill group. Like they don't go like crazy and stuff. They aren't they aren't trying to flirting and stuff. They're really chill. Like they're relaxed. Like they're. Uh, I guess you saw at the the concert last year. You know how they did the overture like three times. Yeah, just different yeah, versions. They're... You know, they had the uh, what was it again? So they came out as uh, the Yankees first, and then yeah, they like came like out and, kind of style. and, and then like the, cute idols, the cute idol. They like <laughs> what? I can't be cute, so I went like that. It's like ah, that's the point. And yeah. then they did the original one. How it's supposed to go? Yeah, yeah, don't yeah know. so like you know, they play around with that idea, which is like you feel like none of the other groups would do that, but like NMB because like they're kind of like the comedian group, they can they'll screw around like that. Yeah, Osaka style. Yeah, yeah. It, it's always prominent on on AK Bingos when they have the Moe battles, the yearly now Moe battles. That oh, yeah. the <laughs> other groups are doing their best, and NMB is just like making everything a joke. It's like, come yeah, on, be yeah. flirty, don't make a joke out of it, and they, and they try and try and then, nope just make a joke out of it and still gets a lot of laughs and that's what they do it's like we don't know how to flirt we make jokes yeah well they do uh, flirt but still it's funny uh, to be yeah. on that side they have kind of like the more also like they go for more sometimes sexy image like it has a bit of like you know their image kind of goes all over the place it just how they feel like it they can change so it, it's... it feels more real to them I would say yeah yeah and then and I, I do like this style like I said when I, when I was at the concert it really was a lot of fun, and just they gave gave it their all. You know, they are really into mm -hmm. the fans. They did their performance the best, and they make it like a really fun show about it. Didn't yeah, it wasn't so strict. It didn't feel strict at any moment. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, except the security, which I feel like sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I heard of that story. That's not. <laughs> oh man, it was so tight over there. I think that might have just been Nagoya security. Yeah, <laughs> hey SKE of course. Um, so. But yeah. What what do you think lately about the songs from NMB? Because I'm still saying currently on the AKB48 group side, the best uh, song for the year goes now to NMB48, uh, Yoku Bono. I really like that song. Okay. I'm, still, I'm still listening to that. So, do you think NMB is still going great on their song sides, or they're still lacking a little bit? Yeah, they just have to put out songs. Problem is like, because like 2017, they only put out one single. Mm -hmm. the whole year mm -hmm. i mean they did do the album and they had masaka singapore which i guess you can't count as like a mini single um yeah, yeah it was like 2017 was really disappointing but 2018 i think yeah we're already doing pretty well uh but yeah like i think their song has been pretty good uh i really like what are the people yeah so when they did <laughs> so it's then when they did uh yoku bomono i was like oh man it's like for me it's disappointing personally but i, I mean yoku bono yoku bomono is also uh yeah, it's good. It just felt like too much like Kayaki, which I guess that's what a lot of people say. Maybe, maybe that's the thing that I like. That's the current trend I feel with music. Everything is Kayaki. <laughs> Except for their newest single from Kayakazaka. That's <laughs> a little different, I would say. <laughs> well, you said it. So, um, speaking of Kayakazaka, before we move on hey. to that, is there still we want to talk about NMB or Yamato Sayaka's announcements? Uh, there's a few concerts and stuff, like... Uh, I'll just talk about it real quick. Yeah, so like our graduation concert is going to be on October 20, 27th in mm -hmm. Bampoku Koen, which is like the like 1970s Japan Expo. Uh, it's an outdoor venue that seats about 30,000 to 50,000 people. That's pretty cool that they're doing an outdoor venue. I think that's yeah. pretty neat. Yeah, no, I think it's just because like, it's like a, a big venue. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. It's in October, which is still in typhoon season, but I feel hopefully it'll be all right. They could probably put like oh, they could put a rain cover over and it might be okay. Yeah. Um, then they also have their uh, 
eighth anniversary concert. It's uh, mm. October 2nd in uh, Makahari Messe, and then also October 17th in Osaka Joe Hall. So they're doing two concerts. So I think it's kind of like those are all announced the same day as her concert. So it's like that's her uh, graduation too. So it's like they want to get uh, Sayaka wants her fans, or even they are non fans, but people who want to meet her. They, they're trying to give her as many chances as possible to come see her. Mm-hmm. Um, she's not doing any handshake events for Sentimental Train, um, but uh, yeah, she's thinking of doing like some kind of like whether it's like a national handshake event or it's just Sayaka some kind of special event. Basically, she wants to have fans be able to say goodbye to her or even, yeah. you know see her for like that, that, that is a good question though um because she's such a prominent member do you think mm-hmm. she will keep it uh, an exclusive graduation with only nmb48 or will she also be doing a akb48 group graduation mm-hmm. Ooh. Uh, oh I, I was wondering because like did like matsuri reina did they have matsuri reina did they, only yeah, SKE. Matsuri, ske yeah, yeah. So, i mean that's Kitahari yeah, even you know, Milky's was also NMB only, so Imanana was NMB only, so. But I mean, yeah, Sayaka obviously is bigger, so yeah, I think it'll just be NMB only. But uh, they did not announce any like handshake events for 27th yet, but you know, I'm not not gonna hold my. It, it's more. For it. I'm I'm expecting to see Yokoyama Yui at any graduation. Um, yeah, Takashi yeah, yeah. Juri being there, and. I think Sa- Sashi will be there as well. Perhaps, yeah. Because mm-hmm. they have those close relationships. Um, I think Yui Han might be the only one that might show up from non 48 group. I could also see like graduates coming. Actually, because some of the graduates did come to that announcement concert. You about uh, Nanami? Uh, Nanami, 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 Nanami there, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's possible. Um, this is more like I think for like the certain fans, it's like their hopes and dreams, but. Possibly Milky could come back because her like contract thing it will be over, so she could come show up, you know. But I'm not sure because they had some kind of bad blood with her agency. But maybe, yeah, because uh, Milky has her comeback concert coming in September, also. Oh, oh, in, nice. uh, maybe it's a good September... timing. She could promote it. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, September 19th and September 21st in Tokyo and Osaka, respectively. Well, I mean, I can see Saika maybe showing up to one of those. Interesting. So, yeah, it's yeah, the Saiyan Milky fans are crazy, but it's all about Saiyan Yuri these days. Mm. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens yeah. uh, in the future yeah. on that side. Yeah. Um, Steve, anything you yeah. want to add? Mm, nothing really much to Saiyan, no. Okay. Well, then, um, I've got a little bit of story time, and Colin, it's also a little bit thanks to you. Um, okay. So, that was the first news that happened. And then. <laughs> The other news happened, oh. and I and I was oh. just you know on Twitter and I read it. I know, I know, I know. And I went, I went just insanely going like no, just just very sad and noise. And then Colin here says, "Oh, don't worry, Madoka will be uh, back soon enough." I'm like, "What? What? What?" And then I found out that yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, Moriyasu Madoka from. Um, HKT48 HKT. has uh, an injury, so she's taken hiatus. That sucks mm. too. Thanks for that for a uh, moment. But that was not the big news I was actually disappointed about. Um, the first... Is this the first? Well, the officially the first, I would yeah. say. Yeah. From Keikizaka46, Imaizumi Yui announced graduation. And... Oh, just thinking about it again. This is really... Breaking, I would say. This was really because with with Cyanae, it's still sad, but it's more like we've been expecting, we've been yeah. preparing, we've been yeah. guessing for years. This, however, is out of the blue. And well, yeah. yes <laughs> and no, to be honest, because yes no. she she already took a hiatus, I think, two times and maybe third yeah. times yeah. a charm. And it's like, okay, this is not working for me. Still, um, amazing talent. I really love the you know the U U E the songs they do. Uh, tuning is one of my favorites. Uh, just her smile mm-hmm. when she walked the fashion walk it looked amazing on that side. And when uh, Tetsu was gone, I had a feeling like she could be like the the center, uh, mm-hmm. other otherwise or maybe the new center of a single. So that's basically how I feel. I feel very very sad and sucked and why. So what do you guys think? Uh, 
Uh, I guess I'll start. So, it just so happened to be on my last day of work, too. I woke up, checked on the Discord, and I see Imazumi Yui announces graduation, and immediately my heart just sunk, like, so low, because Imazumi has always been one of my top favorite members in Keaki, and she's just so talented, and now... Because every Kayaki single, I was either looking forward to her solo songs or the Yui Chanzi songs. So just knowing that we aren't going to get those anymore makes me sad as well. But as you said, like, she's taken uh, that one long hiatus and then the hiatus not too long ago. So I'm actually quite surprised. And I also was expecting her to be, like, the center, uh, like, replacing Tachi if there ever was in a single. That's who I wanted it to be. And now... Like, I'm really sad, but hopefully, like, she goes on to a solo career. She also takes, like, I hope she takes, like, maybe, like, a year hiatus or so, and then getting her health better, and then starting her solo career that way. Because I feel like she can definitely do be really popular and do well solo. I, I think, she... actually, the thing with Kei Kazaka is it's very an intense physical style compared yeah. to, like, other idol groups. And she can, her body is like maybe too petite because if you look at her, she's, <laughs> she's tiny. Yeah. She is, she is very tiny at some points. Like moments, like in pictures, like mm. like how do you get their movements right? And maybe the physical part is a problem. The the, the songs she does, you know, she all writes her own yeah. lyrics and makes her own songs. If she maybe goes in that direction now, maybe that's also the choice mm. of graduating. It's like, how about if I'm becoming a solo artist, or maybe if. Maybe she asked even the other Yui, like, Kobayashi, like, yeah, would you that... join me, or would you leave Keiko? And maybe she said no, or didn't feel like on that side. I can definitely see, you know, another Yui being a very top prom mm. member in the music uh, world. But yeah. still, just seeing out of the group, it's still weird that, that someone is leaving I that mean, soon, it... I would say. Yeah, it was kind of weird when I did see that she was getting a solo song for the regular edition. I guess that was more or less like foreshadowing of what would happen because this that song is technically now considered like her graduation song now. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess that was foreshadowing because I've heard that like the members knew beforehand that she was going to announce like she consulted with the members. So maybe she told the staff too and they're like, we're going to give you a graduation song along with the and you can see how toxic the internet is nowadays because yeah. <laughs> when they heard about oh she consulted with members or members convinced her to graduate it's like oh the, it's because of the members you know uh, the, the bad blood and, and stuff like yeah. that and the, or... yeah there was also the thing with like Techie is Techie's like the only one that gets shown and not any of the members that she was like wanted to get out of that like I don't I, I think it was more or less her physical health like, I don't believe it was anything no, to do with No, I, I really think it's the physical attribute of Cake. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Colin, what are your thoughts on that side? Uh, to everyone's biggest shock, a few weeks ago, I revealed that I wasn't into Cake Izaka. <laughs> so, therefore, <laughs> the graduation doesn't really affect me. I'm sorry. If you love her, I know. I understand. I, 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 I know the name. I know how she looks like, but I never connected the two. Sorry. Uh, it's it's uh, I've seen very many people being very upset. Like she was very respected, very talented um, musician. I would say, just personally, I, I I'm I'm not into Kei Kizaka, so <laughs> her graduation doesn't really affect me. Uh, yeah. So it's... so now then, when she will get her own uh, single out or her own album solo artist, will you then be taking a listen? Or going to see if you like that. Sure, why not? I I don't have a reason to say no. I I would if if you guys would be uh, if we talk about it on the show. I will definitely do my research. I sure, <laughs> yeah. All maybe right. I like it. Maybe I don't. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Matt, what do you think? Yeah, oh, yeah. So I guess I'm like a what do you call it a casual Kiyakizaki fan. Uh, like Mayo, she's Tetchy, but uh, I went to the second anniversary concert this last April. Oh, so obviously there's no Tetchy there. But yeah. the one member who did like catch my eye, the guy was like paying attention the whole time, was uh, Imazumi Yui. I was like I'm really impressed by her performance. So I, I guess I'm, I say, oh, yeah, I'm sad. She's like one of the four members I know from in, from not uh, Kiyakizaka. So I'm like, now I only know like three. <laughs> who, who are the other two actually? Uh so yeah, Tetchy. Uh, Sugayuka and 
Nehru. <laughs> okay, that sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. And then oh, also, and uh, uh, actually, wait, and actually, uh, recently, uh, Kato Kato Shiho. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's, uh, isn't it Hiragana, actually? Yeah, that's Hiragana. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that's a very good problem on that side. Totally a different group. We, we, it's still called Hiragana 46, I would say. That's, that's, mm, yeah. It has yeah. nothing to do anymore with Kei Kazaka 46. Mm. They're, they're their own group I, now. The, the, the more well, happy songs. Do you yeah. think, uh, because people are also saying, like, oh, there's only, you know, Kanji Keiaki has to have 21 members, or whatever. So, do you think they'll pull someone from Hiragana and put them into? Oh, I haven't Kanji. thought they about did, it. They did that actually. with Nader. They did that with Nader, So, well, Nader's uh, story was she more. Didn't anyone. Yeah, Nader was like a special thing where she was like so... concurrent within both. Okay. It, it, start, it, it was so. more. It was more because Nader was first in the auditions and she passed, but her parents pulled her out. And yeah. she was sad and about that, and the group then started, so she wasn't allowed. But then they. Um, did the she became the first uh, Hiragana, um, Kekazaka forty six, and then they did auditions for that group. So she was basically the first solo member of Hiragana forty six, and then we're like, mm-hmm. yeah, you're still performing with them though. So, and then they noticed like, well, you're so much in kanji. Well, we'll just make the separate groups, and then we'll take you out of kanji and make Hiragana their own thing. It's like blah blah blah. But thinking could be. There could, there could be like, uh, so, um, hey, um, you know, the A side, Kanji's not doing so well, yoink, and then it's like, yeah. figure it out, Just, we don't care so much about you. I think they do it with a lot of other, even with football, I would say, they, they did that. Like, I was on a, on a group where that was the B team, basically, and every time, like, hey, uh, one of the A team uh, people left, so um, mm. Mm, you and mm. you are now moving to A team, and then uh, B team, we don't have anyone for you, but figure it out. <laughs> Okie dokie, thank you. I could see that happening actually. Yeah. That, uh, they also have like their uh, audition happening too, don't they? They haven't had that ha- happen yet though. Hmm. The Keaki Nogizaka joint audition. So they could find a substitute there too. W- will they substitute it? That's also a thing. Yeah. Should they substitute well, it? Yeah. Well, they're, they're, cur- they're, they're currently one. missing four members. Oh yeah. Oh no, 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 now well. three because okay. So basically, yeah. two are now on hiatus and one announced graduation. And mm-hmm. Techie just recently came back, just in time for the mm-hmm. new single. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then probably we'll just disappear again. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Six month hiatus every year. Oh. It's kind of like a cat, like your pet cat, just like wanders in, and wanders out when it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. wants food. <laughs> it's just basically, hey, it's a uh, single time. Just comes in. Okay, just let me take my spot here, center position. Okay, everybody, look at me. Single comes out. Hey, what's that? <laughs> and just goes away for a month. Uh, it hasn't been the no. greatest year for Cake, is that guy? I would say, mm-hmm. not so far. And it, and even then, their new single is. I think I still haven't only listened to it twice, and normally I listen to a new single at least 20 times in the first week. Oh, well, that says something that the single is not that great. Uh, and even w- with AKB48, the sentimental train. How many times have you guys listened to it? Oh, uh, once again, only the time when they first premiered it. That's the only time that I listened yeah. to sentimental train. Yeah. So, Matt, yeah, let's do a few times to compare it to the the Nogizaka song that that has the exact same chorus as it. Yeah, it it it, it feels like uh, Sayonara something. Got yeah, Imi. Yeah, 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 Sayonara no Imi. It really has the same style. Like, yeah, it sounds almost like word to word. There's even like a mashup video I saw mm. when it first debuted. It was really funny. Nice. Uh, I was waiting for that actually because the, the instantly I heard that, and they they changed a little bit on the style. They changed the choreography. That's funny. Mm. Yeah. I think they added like a more like upbeat backing track to it too. Yeah, so they, they they're subtly changing stuff like no no it's still the same yeah. song but we added yeah. this and this and this so it doesn't we sound don't, similar. We don't have we don't have our center so we'll make a double center. <sighs> it's so uh, yeah. I, I was wrong by the way I was <laughs> expecting that the music video was come out this week but they they didn't yeah. do it yet so nah. Nah, hopefully next by the week. end of August. Yeah. Still. Imaizumi mm-hmm. Yui, uh, hopefully for a solo career, that's really what I'm hoping. Such a talent, yeah, it would really be wasted. Yeah. If, if she now decides, like, you know what, I'm just gonna 
you know, work in a in a cafe or something in a bar. <laughs> that would be such a talented way. Hey, hey, it happens. Uh, the biggest yeah, one we know right that's uh, yeah. very successful. I think uh, yeah. about Nishino Miki, who works uh, still at, uh, what do you call that bar again? Iwa. Oh, yeah, Iwa. 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 Yeah, Iwa. Uh, currently she is doing a lot of uh, you no know, fighting style, something kickboxing I saw, and losing a lot of weight. So she, she's mm -hmm. still getting her comeback in, in entertainment. But... She's doing a CD, right? She, she's yeah yes so she did a showroom where people had to donate basically or you know yeah. the, the tower stuff and they mm -hmm. reached their goal so she's do doing a solo well single album style it's interesting uh, to be honest do you, do you remember if Nishinomiki had like the voice you were like ah oh, that's a very good voice I would listen to all the songs she would do no nah, not that I can remember no no okay um well, those were the two biggest topics. Mm -hmm. On uh, the other side, um, well, Matt, you were at the handshake event, and uh, DX Takamino yeah. was also at the handshake event. Where I didn't uh, see him though. <laughs> yeah, well, um, he was. <laughs> so I don't know if it will get flagged maybe later for this, but uh, he shared a um, a picture <laughs> with uh, Komi Yamaharuka, yeah, his, yeah, his, his yeah, Oshi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But he was nervous, very nervous. Yeah. And uh, and. Oh, you know you're in line, and um, maybe you can explain it better. But you're allowed to take a selfie with with the member. So how how yeah. much time do you have? How does that work? Do you need prepared or because the way he took the picture, it was like yeah. he was more focusing on. Okay, don't fuck this up. Whoop. <laughs> I'm a, I just did a selfie. <laughs> and you said it all. I said it. Oh my god. <laughs> um. Well, that's the feeling probably he had. But then he, he's yeah. like. Very stressful pushing that button, and he's just looking very stern. And you see Komi just like yeah. going like this. Yeah. So uh, yeah. maybe walk to us uh, with a selfie. Mm -hmm. How does that work, Matt? So um, for the handshake events, there's like they have different like each slot has like a specific like gimmick or something. So it could be a two shot. Yeah. Um, it could be like a signed card thing. It could be the little mm -hmm. video thing. Um, so basically, you apply for that ticket, and then you get the ticket. Then when you go to sign in, they have an iPad set up, and you push a button. And it'll tell you whether you win the selfie or just get a regular handshake. Mm -hmm. And then if you win, then you get a little paper. You write your name, or they staple it to your ticket, and you bring it in. You, you oh, bring up your cell smartphone, and you take a picture with them. They might ask like, "What pose do you want?" But uh, when they first started doing it, like some members were very like, uh, like uh, I'll say like hands on with it. Like they like they actually like because a lot of the bulletins are not very good at mm -hmm. selfies. So like, ah, uh, like let me just do this for you, and they take it and do it for you. Uh, but I guess now they changed it where you know the member is not allowed to touch your phone at all. So uh, they'll you're supposed to do it yourself, and so it's also your responsibility. So if you screw up the photo uh, or whatever, you know you had your eyes closed. Uh, that's it. You don't get a reach shoot or anything. So it's blurry, nothing. Yeah. So it's and it's kind of like you're you're herded in like cattle. So you, it's very. I can definitely see where he'd be stressed out and nervous. Mm -hmm. But also, if it's his Oshi, you know, did he meet her before? Is his first time seeing her, or uh, no? Oh. He went I'm, last I'm year. I'm thinking he went last year, but did he went to an event? I don't think he went to a concert. Oh. I think uh, well, it, uh, well, it, it rarely happens that he meets, of course. But his yeah. first Oshi was um, Takashi uh, Minami, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And I think that was fine before, and then he switched Oshi to um, Komiyama Haruka. Okay. I mean, it's also really it's like it's it happened to me. It's fairly uh, regular to be really nervous when you first go to an event or first meet your Oshi. Super nervous and stuff. Uh, unless you're Sayaka, unless it's Sayaka, she's amazing. <laughs> 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 she makes me feel real comfortable and very. That's why she's nice. like you know best at the handshakes, but uh, very relaxed style. Uh, yeah. But yeah. but time wise, so you have your camera, you're set up, you're maybe on standing, and then you yeah, go you show there. Show the camera, make sure you don't have the flash on, and then you go in. Oh god, oh, hey, hello. You, take, you can say something to him. Um, technically, they don't kick you out until you take the picture. Um, so you could chat if you want. This is kind of a secret. Uh, you can chat with him a little bit before you're taking a picture. Yeah, as long as you take the picture, you can kind of get extra time, bonus time. Yeah, d whatever. just do it subtly, I would say. Just don't be like your phone in your pocket and just talk and talk and talk. Maybe just, yeah. you know, <laughs> be like, okay, I just need to get ready and then yeah, just, all right, let's see. Um, yeah. Well, you know, 
you're with Comey anyway, the Instagram queen. <laughs> so you're like, oh, is, is this okay? Do you have any tips? You know, the lighting. Yeah, what, what do you think? And be like, yeah, no, okay. filter. So, so, so how have you been lately? You know what? And uh, <laughs> hey, this is so fine. And you keep going like that, and then you finally click. Okay, thank you. Don't care about the picture. You just had a ten minute talk with Komiyama, maybe. Yeah. And and, and, and he, his Japanese is is pretty good, I would say. Um, okay. but still, maybe at that moment, that's also a language barrier. You're trying to yeah. don't screw Nerves. up the, the yeah the the, the, the sentence. Like, the heat well, is the also the vocabulary is very different from. Normal Japanese vocabulary, so yeah. Yeah, just maybe we just go tonga blah blah blah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah, um, yeah, but he was there. Um, you yourself were there, and I, I read your uh, talk. I, I really love those. You and Andy do those mm -hmm. like um, Nanagogo style, I would say, or is it more like yeah, a live style? Yeah, it's this app called uh, it's called Akshu Report, so handshake report. Oh, yeah, really? It's like. Yeah, there's an app you can download. Uh, I think it's like, I got the cheap one, which is like a dollar or two dollars, but there's also like a more, like a five dollar one that has like no ads or whatever, but I'm not that, I'm not that much of a baller, you know, <laughs> so. No, but uh, I, I really like those reports because it really has yeah. the feeling because I can picture you walking in and then uh, Sine goes like, ah, Meto, and just yeah. going through the style and, and it, 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 so... You've met her many times, and you go to yeah. South, but you still feel nervous, or you still have moments you're like, um, it's just relaxed, or are you meeting a buddy outside? Uh, for her, it's very relaxed. Uh, I think yesterday, because I was like, I prepared a little, like, cue cards and stuff, and I'm like, here, we got some subtitles, look here, and I'm going to talk to you in English. You no, know, sometimes, usually I talk to her in Japanese, but it's like a very kind of, like, simple greeting. Also, with her, you only have, like, five seconds at most, because you can only get one ticket for Saika at a time. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of like I was nervous because I'm rushing, but also she understood what I was saying, so I'm like, okay, yeah. felt good. Yeah, the... like and, and it's like uh, you wait like a half hour just to for you use like uh, one ticket for like five seconds. It's kind of like Disneyland. It's a really short payoff, but hey, the payoff is worth it. Yeah, true. The memory, the memory is forever, and just waiting in line. Yeah. But waiting yeah. in line isn't that bad, right? I think the community is more um, fun to watch, or. Maybe you could tell something about that because, well, it's very obvious mm -hmm. you're foreign on that side. Do you but yeah, so I stick out. <laughs> do people still get, like weird looks? Still, you would say because you've been going oh, to those. Oh, I mean, lot. people will stare. <coughs> oh, I mean, but also, I think I go enough that like a lot of people, they see me, they recognize me. Uh, a few of them, like they just like will say like they like nod at me or say hi to me. Uh, like one guy, like he just randomly just start talking to me, and I guess we're buddies now, even though I don't really know him very well. <laughs> I, I I think I had that um, when I was going to the the concert, and mm. no lot you stand out this morning, and, and people yeah. are are really just like, is he lost or anything? It's like, <laughs> uh, there's actually one funny story. This was like, I'll say this last April. There was like some like white guy, and also he brought his parents in with him. Like his mom and dad were in the venue, and they looked completely lost. I'm like, <laughs> it's like a son and his two parents. And since I was like middle aged, I'm like, <laughs> oh man, I feel sorry for his parents. They're kind of like so confused. They were there the whole day too. It wasn't just like I just saw him once oh. and they're gone. They were, so I think mean, it's like, yeah, this is what I do on my weekend. I go <laughs> wait in line forever. <laughs> You're like, and, and then what, what happens? You just shake their hands? Yeah, and then I go to her next lane. It's like, what? <laughs> and you do this for like 10 hours? <laughs> Well, th th that's the biggest thing. It, it, the, with handshake events, you do you not only go for the handshake; you go for the entire experience, right? Because yeah, especially if you have like no people there, because you kind of like you kind of like debrief with the people. Like, oh yeah, I went to talk to Sayaka, and she said this, and it's really funny. You know, so it's, that's really fun. The whole like you know, and and if you're lucky, you also have the, the concerts, or you know, you can go to a stage that they're performing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because when uh, one of our friends, uh, Gino CX, went there, he mm -hmm. was actually around this time, I'd say. He also had a Matsuri uh, festival. And yeah. they did. you first have like this entire concert, and then you have like a handshake event. But that's... It's that's different. the national handshake event. Yeah, those are, those are the national mm -hmm. type. So um, maybe you could tell about that. So what do you prefer on that side? The national or the um, individual? Um... 
Uh, I prefer an individual because there's members I actually care about that I want to talk to. The other thing, thing with national events, like, you know, the AKB ones, is like there's not really anyone in AKB because only AKB is not the sister groups included. And so there's no one in AKB I really care about these days. Um, so it's like kind of I lost all purpose going there, especially when some of my favorites left in the last couple of years. Um, but I guess the mini live is, is pretty fun, I guess. So usually I go to those events just for the mini live, and I could care less about meeting the members at those events. Uh, and also it's kind of awkward because, you know, they are like in their own booths, like with like two or three other members. And it's like, if you only care about one of those members and the other three you don't care about, it's like, you kind of like, you either have to like, oh, hi, hello, you know, and it's like, be very polite to them, but yeah, it's like, you can't, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> just, just, you know, go, oh, hey, you know, best friends with one person. Yeah. It's, it's really awkward. I don't really like, I don't like the national handshake events because of that. Like, cause I feel bad about, about the members I don't care about. Yeah, I imagine so. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the biggest question I would say um, for international fans: How yeah. hard is it for individual handshakes? Because you had uh, Chariana where you can get tickets, but that's now gone yeah. because of the English side they gone up with. So now you can only order like they they have now their own uh, website. I would say like an international yeah. website where you can order tickets. Or CDs, where you still go uh, to Chariana. No, Chariana is still the one you use for AKB. Um, for actually the AKB group ones, the home, the main ones. Uh, yeah, it's, it's still fine. I think the issue was uh, they don't take foreign credit cards anymore. Yeah, mm. the, for international fans, that's more the issue yeah. on on that side. So that's the yeah. So for you, it's still like, oh, it's fine. I'll just order those tickets. That's fine. Uh, well, I don't have a credit card anyway, so I can just pay at the convenience store. Which actually, if you if you are an international fan and you want to come to one of these events and you get you win tickets, um, I mean there are people here who like can help you out. Like we have like kind of like proxy services and stuff to help people get their tickets and CDs and stuff. So definitely, you can hit us up for that. Yeah, so so for example, if if I would come over there and mm -hmm. I didn't sign up to anything, uh, I just like, like oh, I'm I'm happen to be here and there's a handshake event uh, coming up. So yeah. what do I do as an individual um, uh, to That's get those tickets? Um, if it's individual handshake, you're out of luck because they do like the orders for that like months in advance. So yeah. like the Central Mill Train ones, these events will be in. One in October, uh, one in September, one in October, and then uh, a couple in November and one in December. Like they do it several months in advance. Mm -hmm. uh, like we're still doing Jabberjaw. Like the one this yeah. weekend was Jabberjaw handshake. Um, but if it's a national handshake event, then actually, yeah, you can you're in luck because you can go get tickets for that. You just pick up a CD, uh, the limited edition one that comes with. I think it's like Type B or whatever. The limited edition, yeah, mm -hmm. comes with the ticket. And uh, the AKB ones, I know that they actually do sell those t CDs at the event, like on site. So you could still buy a bunch of those. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty good. But the downside now is then you have the chance you'll meet three members and they're all cut down in seconds. So it's not like mm. um, the lineup that you have to go to see individual members. Yeah. 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 So um, what, yeah. What, what was this weekend? Because then yesterday was a national or just a... Individual. This is whole weekend, yeah, as individuals. Okay, and and this was yeah. all sister groups, but they were all yeah, all groups. groups. So yeah, so, so um, I'm following because I'm thinking. Um, so uh, our friend DX Takamina has gone yeah. there, and he uh, yeah. he said he has now with three other members, or it, I think it was all with two and of NGT and one from uh, all AKB. Yeah. So he then so put months in advance from Charani, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you have to pre-plan it in advance. So, if you're gonna plan a trip to Japan and you want to go to a handshake event, I guess wait for the event to be announced and then book your trip, rather than book your trip and then hoping you can do an event. Yeah. So uh, they won't let you, okay. they won't even let you into the venue if you don't have a ticket. And and how easy is it for people to order it basically? So you know the dates uh, if if you're planned is what you just yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. You you know the day. You know where it is. So you just then go to the site and say, I right. want this many CDs, and then you get that many tickets. For a national handshake? Yeah. For no, for individual. In individual handshakes. Individual, it's all online. It's all done online. Mm. But you can say, I just want one ticket. Or you can say, yeah, I and, want... Yeah, and you pick which member. Uh, it could be, you can pick actual member, if you're not sold out, or do they have like a day of, like, same day ticket. 
Mm-hmm. And basically, you can use it on any member who's like not sold out that day. Okay, so it can still work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but that's but you still have to order it. You have to pre-order it. I won't do it all online. So, what's the uh, biggest advice you would give a international fan who, you know, really wants to go to a handshake event, or what? What think? How should one start? What would be the best way? Uh, I think yeah, just like you know, get involved with the community if you can. Like, so there's people who are in Japan, they're foreign fans, you know, we're not that many, but there are you know probably enough of us to help people. Uh, you know, talk to someone, you DM them on Twitter or whatever. It's like, hey, I'm going to this. I'm gonna be in Japan this time. Uh, we're gonna have a. I want to go to an NKB event. Can you help me out? And most likely, we'll probably help you out. Uh, mm. So yeah, just really get in touch with one of us, uh, and then. Look for schedules. Make sure you know there's dates when you're going to be in Japan. Yeah, do it early. That's the first class. Now that there's like no Sayaka Jarena at these events now, uh, like before you had like you wanted if you wanted to see them, you had to do it in the very first round. Uh, but now you have a bit more buffer. Now you can see anyone pretty much. Yeah, more lenient uh, on this side. Mm. Yeah, there's, because I still wonder. Um... For then Japanese people itself, it, it's very easy for them. It's just you know I'll just yeah. get something, get tickets, and yeah. or so you do see like a lot of people at those events, right? Like ten thousand yeah. to to twenty thousand yeah. people, and and then they all go to the system, and it's apparently very easy. But it's it's very yeah. Japanese oriented. It's just a very yeah. Hard it's all Japanese. It. Yeah, like I guess you don't need to know. I guess having a Japanese language ability would help. I mean, like, I cannot read anything on the website for the most part, but, you know, I've done enough, you know, I can know, okay, this button is this, this button is that, so you just learn. I think your first time is going to be really hard, your first few times will be really hard. Eventually, though, like, you've done enough times, you can just do it, like, without thinking. You just know. As long as you know, like, the kanji for what memory you like. But you can also use, like, the Google Translate, like, Google Chrome add-on mm-hmm. that can help you navigate through some parts also. You also get the weird translations of names in English. It's really funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you would definitely yeah. recommend to to, well, prepare for that. If you if you know you're going, that you, you're mm-hmm. like okay, um, they'll be announced in advance, and you can try for that. Yeah, you can definitely do it. I actually uh, helped uh, I guess friend of the show Josh Box sign up for Keakizaka. Yeah, tickets like just the other day. So. Yeah, he recently cool. posted on Twitter. He, oh, he yeah, was, yeah. I guess I'm going, and it's like yeah. made his whole list in there. <laughs> Thanks, Matt, yeah. for that. So Josh can have a uh, a fun time there. I think it's his first yeah. time. I'm also gonna try to see if you can get him to go to the Cyanide concert also, because we have a whole crew doing that. Because he's gonna be in there around the same time. Oh, very Which nice. I mean, that's like the that's why my number one advice is find like the international fans who like are in Japan, because we can help you go to things you can't normally get to. Mm. Yeah, cool. when I was in Japan first, um, so they recently put on the the English. Uh, theater site so you can apply for tickets mm. but it never said like oh well you're available or you can apply for this it, it's because it, it feels like they were like you know fishing a little bit it's like well you may yeah. have a chance to get in there you'll have no chance in there first the Japanese yeah. people get in there oh then we're full for some reason and yeah how does that work for you on this side did you go to a lot of theater shows or you're like nah uh, no. I've only been to two AKB ones and that's actually because uh my friend, who's also he's a British guy, uh, he had me added with him as like a, a company person, so you can like sign up for like a ticket for two people or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that's what happened. Um, but it's it's still like really hard to win, no matter whichever group you are. Uh, I did hear one story about like some people I think from France. They recently got into N and B theater, and that's because like they emailed like the the theater office. I think, oh hey yeah, we're from France. We want to get tickets for N and B theater. Can you help us out? And like okay yeah. Tell us what dates, and we'll hook you up. And they went to like I think it was like a team in show or something. So. Wow, that's smarter than oh, cool. Yeah, it's a lot of effort, which that though. may just require like you know knowing Japanese also. <laughs> yeah, exactly on that. So it's still yeah, definitely very interesting don't there. recommend. Definitely don't recommend writing in English or like using like a Google Translate message. <laughs> no, it, it, it's it's so funny that that I would say AKS as a whole is still getting more lately to more to the international side. But they're still like, yeah. no, Japanese first, and then we'll yeah. see what we have to to send to English. Yeah. They don't That's want to miss that core. Yeah, 
I would say that's they're like, small. Yeah, they're trying to like open it up more, you know, because like you know, they have the 2020 Olympics coming up, so mm. they're trying to like make everyone ready for this huge influx of foreigners and stuff. Oh God, it's happening in two years. Do you think they're ready? Yeah, I mean, um, no, especially when they like they shut down the Airbnb deal. Oh God, that, that definitely yeah. made it worse for foreigners for people traveling. Ay ay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a whole nother story I would say that we're getting in there mm -hmm. um, but other than that uh, then finally you still think when an international fan becomes a fan of AKB or you know the groups in general yeah. idols in general you think it's still a good idea in the end or it's like don't go too deep because it gets more complicated <laughs> complicated <laughs> as someone who has gone too deep and keeps getting deeper or you know I'm finding like detours that don't leave me up, but they're still leaving me somewhere. I'm still in the hole. We call it the sinkhole on the Takoyaki party. <laughs> uh, it's depends. I mean, if you like it, like, you, you can start like with something casual, you know, watching the TV shows, watching, you know, concerts online. Um, and if you come to Japan, national handshake events are probably the easiest ones to go to. And if you feel deeper, go into the individual handshake events. And then, yeah, but I feel like the individual handshake events are probably as deep as you can get. Uh, aside from like you know buying the photo cards, collecting all the photo cards, trading those, because that's that's probably a whole other. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I, I know situation. that. I, there there was a sale when in one of those stores I got lucky, and it's like oh a special Saturday sale, you can get half off of everything, and I'm just yeah. looking through these pictures, and a lot of them are from so many years ago who don't sell anymore, yeah. and then you had yeah. like the display of top members, and there was one from Techi with the Sakamichi single, and it was mm -hmm. like. Um, Four thousand yen. I was like, holy yeah. crap! Yeah. At the, it was actually really cool at the handshake events. They actually have a whole section devoted to people just like training the photos around, like they people bring it in suitcases and yeah, yeah, setting the, up the, camp. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I saw that also at the Nagoya that there were like just yeah. this whole area, and and basically I've been in trading card games, you know, the old style, yeah. the Yu-Gi-Oh magic mm -hmm. and stuff, and hey. it's basically that. And yeah. there was there was one thing it really upset me though because. Well, you know, sometimes when you open a booster pack in a card game, you're like, oh man, I just got crap boosters, and then you yeah. throw the cards away. <laughs> Someone did that with, with uh, they, they also had like a type of booster pack, a randomized, and... Yeah, they sell like five photos in a pack, and it's like a thousand years. Yeah, and someone got a Kenkusei, and he was like, oh man, that sucks, and just threw on the ground, and I still yeah. have it. I still, because I looked at her, and I just like... I remember the story, yeah. I just looked like, how could you, actually? This is a person. This is not like a fake card game or anything, maybe. This is actually someone who's trying her best, and I'm like, you know what, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna let this be Starnis and Troy. And he saw it, and I took it, and I just looked at him in the eyes, like, nope, this <laughs> is mine now. You threw it away, and mm -hmm. it, it really felt like... He knew he was like, okay, but it was mine, but I decided to throw it away. And it was very funny eye contact, because he didn't disagree, he's like, sure, just keep it. But it was more like, what are you, yeah, you know, to get the confusion on this side. Yeah. You're literally picking up a trash member, don't... <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, I don't agree. What are you that... doing? Like, it's like, why? Why are you doing <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, it... I actually have had that reaction too. Like, uh, even like you know, going to the AKB cafe and get a little coaster with the members on it, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, this is a crap member, and I just throw it on the table. But I'm not, I'm not that mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just the table is still fine and on the floor. Yeah. Uh, have I told you, Matt, that I, when I was to the cafe, by the way, is the, yeah. do you agree the food is horrible? Uh, it's horrible and overpriced and incredibly small. Like, I only go there for the drinks just to get a coaster. So yeah, spend 500 yen but then you want to get bar. two coasters if you get a drink and food, and then you get yeah. the horrible Sunday with cereal on the bottom and just no. But out of all members, I got double Yabuki Nako. It's like wow. so you have I don't know mm. 300 plus members and then you get a, a double. How, mm. Just just my luck. But I yeah I I didn't have enough uh, guts to go like hey anyone want to trade or you know how do you, how Which, do you start I mean, that? If you go... Yeah, if you go outside the cafe, there's like literally people sitting with whole folders entrance. and getting trade on this side. It's very yeah, cool to yeah. see. Yeah, because they have like that takeout counter or whatever where you can buy the special drinks or whatever. And uh, they'll literally like pounce on top of you as soon as you leave. <laughs> like, hey, what'd you get? What'd you get? Oh. <laughs> it was really a, like a car game that. 
And and yeah. think one more thing I will add uh, from my experience when I was in the AKB48 theater. Um, so I, I went to, I think I, uh, I saw NAB theater, but you have to go downstairs to, I don't mm -hmm. know, you weren't allowed to go downstairs. So you're, you can see the outside or the front. So I took a picture of that. I went okay. to uh, SKE48 theater and uh, the cafe people were like having a little section and you could watch like a stage. So that was mm -hmm. fun to see. Although when I was downstairs and looking at the gate, take a picture of that, they were actually waiting in line to get to a theater performance and the fans mm -hmm. did not have it. They were really like all anger faced, like, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. And it's like just taking a picture and then go be on my way. But at the AKB48 theater, they were actually surprisingly very nice because they knew I wasn't getting a ticket, but they have those TV screens where you can watch mm -hmm. the theater, basically. Yeah. And the first day, they were like, okay, who is this? But I went multiple times because in the evening, I was like, oh, I'm nothing else to do. And it's like a five-minute ride from the uh, the uh, hostel we were in. So I was like, mm -hmm. I was there just looking at it. And even staff members, there was, was one girl was like, hey, you're here again. It's like, uh, <laughs> knows a little bit of English, trying to help me. And then I bought my, um, you know, one of the glow sticks, of course. And uh, I bought the you're pictures. in the lobby? <laughs> no, they, 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 I, did I? I can't remember if I did, but <laughs> hey, I just bought it, so I'm going to use it. But I, I uh, bought the pictures, of course, from the stage they took at the moment. And... In the end, they were actually genuinely nice. There were people who were actually... I think there was one mistake I made because um, they were still preparing to get into the theater, but you were allowed to hang out in the lounge. And I was just sitting there enjoying myself, and they were calling out numbers. And then mm. the, the girl who knew me was coming. Um, actually, you're not supposed to be here right now. And it's like, yeah, oh, yeah. sorry. It's just I went merrily on my way. And they were also surprised and more respected on that side because I wasn't like yeah. this. This weird guy was just saying, no, I don't want to listen to you. I'm just here for the uh, theater. So yeah, I think yeah. the biggest thing is just show respect and get respect back. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's my little story that went out of there. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Um, it's kind of like that uh, when you, like, even going to, like, the events and stuff. Like, I mean, if you're, like, you bump into someone and you say, oh, sorry, and as soon as then or whatever, and, you know, in line. As long as you're, you're respectful, you know, causing disturbance. They're pretty much cool with you. Everywhere. And they'll look at you. They'll stare at you. Beth more just like out of curiosity rather than, yeah. what are you doing here, you know? Hmm. Um, Let's see how you act, and then we'll reply to that or something. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, um, wow, an hour already flew by. Holy crap. That's wow. uh, pretty fast. Well, Matt and uh, and I have basically a lot of talk. Sorry <laughs> about that, <laughs> Colin and Steve. Do you have anything... Uh, uh, it's fine. Do you have anything to add before we uh, go to our recommendations and wrap things up? Uh, well, thank you, Matt, for yeah. that explanation. Uh, when I ever get to Japan, I will definitely remember yeah. it. I will plan, prepare, and contact PPC. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, uh, PPC. It's, <laughs> it's really. I will. I will remember this for sure because PPC. you'll never know when this uh, come in handy. Because I, I've never been. I want to go. Just. It hasn't happened yet. Uh, I, I would love. I would love to do it. So, mm -hmm. uh, whenever I actually can go. I will definitely make sure that I'm prepared very well. So it was very nice and very good explanation. Cool. Yeah. Steve, anything? Uh, same. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, let's get into recommendations for next week. Uh, well, he's not here, so I'm going to take a little bit over. Yeah. I, I can do it as well as he, but, um, you know, of course, for Derek, his uh, East Meets West uh, festival becomes uh, next week, I would say, on yes. the... August mm -hmm. 18, 19, and tickets are still available. Yeah, we put the link uh, down below. We have, of course, Necronomidal, which I saw live and still amazing to this yep, day to watch too. performance. So you should get that opportunity. And let's say, for example, Hanako Chan, mm -hmm. uh, 14 generation of the toilet, will be there. Mm -hmm. um, are the who will be there as well? I thought. Uh, thought... Uh, it's a. Uh... Yanakoto Soto Mute. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. going to be there. Yeah, and then we also have yeah. like an American uh, yeah. group performing. It, it's mm -hmm. just going to be a crazy yeah. style. So, um, oh, yeah. If, if you're still thinking about going, really should go if you're in the, uh, around the area because it will be an amazing experience. Again, it's, it's a lot yes. easier instead of going to Japan, you know, going to somewhere near about it and get like the same mm. experience to this event. So, you wouldn't want to miss this for the world. And mm. it's uh, still coming up next week. Um, yeah. You can also get tickets at the door, I believe. So, who knows if yeah, you yeah. last minute decide what we're doing this weekend, you can always go there. 
Uh, for us ourselves, um, we have 48 Talk at Patreon, and I've been slacking a little bit lately, but it's also vacation time, so I'm still missing, uh, of course, uh, one of my editors, DX. He'll be coming back soon. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll be doing the Produce 48 uh, Talk episodes, and uh, believe me, I'll be doing, if I have a day off, just be doing come constantly. So look forward to that coming up. I'm still thinking about the Majimuri uh, episodes because I found a place where they've been subbed. So, really? yeah, yeah, so I'll share the link after that. Oh, uh, thanks. And <laughs> nice. I Oof. think the first three episodes have been subbed. And it yeah. still doesn't appeal to me too much, but hey, subbed is a lot better than non subbed. Um, so I'm thinking about doing those. Um, I heard DX is probably doing his blog about his handshake event. So, mm -hmm. content is coming on Patreon. So, if you want to support us, go to Patreon 48 Talk. Okay, uh, Matt. Do you have some plugs or recommendations you want to share with us? Uh, yeah, I guess you can follow me on Twitter, Matto Dio, words, and also just hang it, random stuff. Um, yeah, Takuyaki, it'd be 48 Takoyaki Party, it's a podcast I do like once a month. Um, there's also another podcast I do, it's not 48 Talk, but it's kind of uh, not 48 related, but uh, it's called uh, Nanabun Worlds, Nanabun no Nijuni, yeah. the 227 oh, cool. podcast. Sally. Uh, you know, Sally Yamaki, yeah, <laughs> the, Sally, the Sally cast. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also talk about other members too. Um, that's like every other week. Uh, I think there'll be one coming up. That's just record, I think, tomorrow. So uh, whenever you see this, you should probably see that episode. Check that out. It's on YouTube. Um, yeah, uh, and also I recommend uh, Teppin Subs. So this is uh, the NMB48 focused uh, subtitling team. They do that for shows. So uh, they kind of went on a hiatus for a while and then they came back. Like, hey, we're going to do subs again. So, check out Tap In Subs for some NMB shows. That is awesome. That is awesome. Um, Steve, do you have something? Yeah, um, just a few things. Uh, just check out our channel, the No AKB and No Life International. Um, I'm also going to be at uh, Eats Me's West, so you can see me alongside with Derek. And I think Josh Box is also going, so I'm going to have a fun time there. Um, and that's probably it. <laughs> All right, Colin. I have two small news things. Okabe Ren is getting a photo book. I'm I'm looking forward to that. Uh, mm. And today was the last handshake event of 12th Gen uh, member Tano Yuka, as well <laughs> as uh, Kojima Natsuki. Natsuki. Yeah, I was uh, blanking on her name. Uh, I was very sad. I saw the pictures. Uh, 12th Gen is my favorite, uh, so uh, it was very sad to see them both uh, for the last time. The five of them. Um, Two, uh, uh, three recommendations. Uh, next week, uh, the Romeo and Juliet stage play will be broadcasted in uh, in Japan, so mm. I'm sure that that will be released somewhere. Um, uh, there was something else. Ah, uh, uh, I forget. I'm sorry. Um, if you forgot, then it's not something. important. <laughs> uh, no, I know. I remember now. Uh, the 25th of August, uh, Gem Expo. Uh, uh, the AKB girls will do a, uh, will be doing mm -hmm. a performance. Will be lots of members, uh, many of our Oshis, mm -hmm. including mine. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to that. That will be very fun because I really liked the Tokyo Idol Festival uh, performance. That was very fun. Mm -hmm. So That's yeah, good. Romeo and Juliet next week. Uh, the week after that, the 25th, uh, Gem Expo mm -hmm. would be amazing. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Otherwise, on uh, the normal broadcast, the AK Bingo shows, uh, last week was a little flat, so hopefully they pick it up. Really? Uh, they, I, I, yeah. It, it, was, it was okay. There were, there were some fun moments. I like the mascot part. And, and yeah, that was my favorite part. That, that, Many that's people it. Love that part. So hopefully they'll pick it up on that side. Um, well, Produce 48 is reaching its end. I will still recommend that because we're getting the final performances and then... We'll see who becomes the number one, where they now become a world group, world idol group for... Yeah, what, what Matt said, they'll be stuck for a year, basically, over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Long. And I'm still thinking that the um, music videos will come this week. I'm still... It, it's got to be one of these days. Or, you know, our curse, after I upload, it's like, hey, here we are. <laughs> the, by the end of August, definitely Sentimental Train and the B-Sides... Uh, Beginning of September at the very last. Come on, B-Sides. I really want to see them. I really want to see them. Yes, Matt. I want to see that cow Thompson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the centers are great. Mm. Uh, but all of them. I can't really choose. But I want to see it. I want to really see it. I hope 
we'll have some good uh, songs on it because last year's uh, SSK single was pretty good. So I, yeah. I want, I want, I want uh, something good. As they always do. Well, Matt, you had something as well. Oh yeah, I just forgot. Uh, so also um, this week I'm going to the summer tour in Sendai uh, on Wednesday, and then else they have a concert in Hokkaido. So they're doing the summer tours all summer. Mm. Um, maybe there'll be some announcements there. More details about. Like is it is it time or... for a new announcement on the site to have uh, maybe something new released? Uh, hopefully, her grad single. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if if they do uh, like last year, they only did once a year. Do you think they'll do this yeah. year two a year or? I yeah. think because of Sayaka, they yeah. it's gonna yeah happen. definitely. Well, her concert. I mean, they used is to do two or three a year, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have a concert, but yeah. It's very um, soon, the end of October. Yeah. Well, that's what Derek and I said last week. It's like uh, maybe management planned this, or maybe Psycho was already like thinking, "When can I graduate?" And they will go look through the calendar. It's like we don't have an event in October. Shall we do it then, or something like that? Or now you're allowed to say you're graduating. So, yeah. Do you think? But that's it sounds something? like they're kind of rushing it. Like, yeah. It's kind of short yeah. notice. They have like two months basically to do anything. Mm -hmm. um, like they do have one day that's supposed to be a, it could be a handshake day. That none of the Simbatsu members from NMB are participating in. Uh, so either they are uh, filming for the new music video that day, or they also have an Asia tour, so they also like be one of the days that they're going to one of these other countries and doing a concert there. Hey, maybe they're going to Russia, like uh, NGT48 for the yeah. new single. Is that part of Asia? Yeah, uh, it's, <laughs> it's it's neighboring, I would say. Yeah, yeah just, just fly over the cold. By. Still Europe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, well, okay. then I would say thank you for watching this week's episode of 48 Talk. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time then. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye, Bye everyone. It was fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>